I I know Lucas pretty well, the character, and uh, this this matchup is super awesome because these two characters can combo the crap out of each other, and we already see it starting with a uh, four hit uh, combo from uh, Ice right there. That was really solid. Uh, yeah. I'll start with that grab too after the boomerang. Okay. Yeah, it definitely you can get a lot of damage off any grab, both of these characters. Lucas does. So, uh, what do you think? Who do you think wins this matchup on paper? Who wins on this paper, matchup on paper? Well, who wins on the matchup? paper? Uh, I think Lucas does. What? Can you like, who do you, do you like, think wins the matchup? Are you, what do you? Can you? Yeah. Um, on paper, I would I would say Lucas would win. Um, he also has like he has a very similar type of grab to uh, Links, but his grabs in the air, which is awesome. Uh, he has an awesome like up close combo game. Yeah. And although Link has a lot of good ways of keeping characters out and punishing them hard, uh, a lot of his punishes start from the mid range, and Lucas is totally comfortable with staying like very close to you and not really getting away from you. And if he does, he has his own pretty nice projectile with PK freeze. And it'll uh, stop boomerang, and it'll uh, it'll hit bombs and screw up their trajectory. So really, like, that's interesting. Yeah, so he does he does have options in the matchup. He can't zone like Link can. He can't he can't stay out indefinitely because Link's gonna be able to outplay him in that ki type of way. Like he can't really hang back too much, but uh, he has a lot of great ways to uh, mess Link up once he gets in. He just needs to optimize his punishes. And then on Link's end, like. He does have really awesome combos on Lucas, so he's just got to uh, seize the proper opportunities to when uh, Lucas has holes in his up-close game or makes mistakes to go for that like up-close grab because Link does have a close range, fast grab at the beginning right before his, uh, his um, chain comes out. Interesting. I can't right now. I'm a uh, competitor. But, uh, but yeah, so I mean, it, it's cool because they both combo each other, but one is just much more up close, the other likes to play from like a mid-distance uh, right. as he's going in. That's the big uh, theme of this matchup. And it should be noted that these two players do have some history. Uh, ne while Neon does typically win, Danny actually got the upset at the last Tucson tournament and took him out of loser's bracket, mm -hmm. which surprised everybody. Danny's been picking up his game, I feel Dude, like. He, like. I don't think there is anyone in this scene that has improved more than Danny. Maybe you. Maybe you. Danny's improved yeah, even more than he, you. He started lower and he's gotten maybe so good maybe i don't know but I'll, I'll tell you one thing he i mean he's really been impressing me lately and i've been having to give it give it everything to yeah. be able to beat him lately so i'm he's definitely a, a threat there's no doubt i, I would say he's, he's I, I would, uh, call he, I, would say, I would say he's a threat for pr yes. definitely easily uh, a threat But uh, Neon really close to punching us out. There it is. Yep. There we go. All right, two stock. A clean, a pretty clean one too. Pretty clean. Almost a JV. And of course, uh, it should be noted that you play the winner of this. Yep. So you've got a lot of stake in watching this carefully. Oh yeah. I mean, I've played both these players a lot. I still, I don't know, fighting Lucas is still really crazy. It's funny. It's like I feel like uh, two of the hardest matchups for me are my own characters, Lucas and Squirtle. Uh, here we go to WarioWare. Really small stage. This is an interesting choice. I think Neon also really likes this stage. I don't know if Danny knew that, but Danny can get some awesome really early kills that I think is what he's looking for here. Off of like um, pretty but bread and butter combos can lead into kills here for Link. Boom. What did I just say? <laughs> I'm not sure. No. So that was because he had 69%, right? That's how that combo happened? Yeah. Anyways, it's really high up, too. Everything uh, really worked out for him. I mean, and I, I honestly, I think that was the uh, strategy here, is it's a small stage, it really works for Link's combos, and he can get early kills off of those combos, so that's just a really solid option against yeah. such a combo, comboable character, but like Lucas, boom. And look, he's put him in a really bad situation. Hit him! Whoa, oh Ooh, my wow. god, that was sick! That was pretty, oh that my was god! Bad. That was godlike. <laughs> oh, and now he's right back in there. That's snipe, dude. Ocarina of Timeline can't do that shit. 
It says Twilight Princess, dude. Yeah, dude. What's this title? Twilight the, Princesses. He's just the, uh, the chosen one. I don't know. Something oh. like that. I should know. I've been playing the game recently. <laughs> One up, Nazo. Or one up, Neon. Jordan's up one. Is it the Hero of Light? The Hero oh, of Light. The Hero cool. of Light's getting up thrown. Yo, like, yeah. Getting up thrown at 130%. I mean, Hero of Light versus Lucas, who's like made of light magic. That's like. This is pretty even, actually. And there you go. They both combo each other. It's, my, at, it's at lightness. My Lucas had PK Project M, so maybe he needs to use that. <laughs> Now? Oh, let me go. Let me go tell Penel all about this. The stage pick seems to be working pretty well, but uh, Neon's gonna really turn up the combos right there. Dang! All right, that ooh, that back air, that reverse back air, brings him right back in it. <laughs> Lucas has a really scary punish game on this stage because it can just come out of nowhere and it'll just zero death you. It's yeah, that's not even that much of an exaggeration. I mean, he's capable of that on other stages too, but it's just so much more common here. Because killing off the top's a even more viable option for him. Oh, absolutely. Is that still alive? What's that? Is that still living? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. No watch. Alright, so now it's dead even. Oh, can he board air? Ooh, Ooh, we can down air! Damn. All right, Why not? Danny brings it back to 1-1. One, one. That's sick. One, one. Ben, did you Yo, play that game edge yet? guard with the arrow? Holy shit. Danny, get shit with that arrow. That was awesome. Oh, they're already talking about us. And I also probably shared it, because Nas is the best. Edgy versus Travis. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Now it's Neon's pick. <clears throat> oh, after uh, Ice bans one more. Alright, now it's Neon's pick. Oh, he goes to PS1. Uh, probably has. Oh no, well, both of them are melee players, huh? So they're both going to be pretty comfortable. Let's go! Yeah, Danny plays a lot of melee. I do believe he's the king of melee Penal. Oh, nice, nice. Ooh, snake dash. Nice tech, buddy. Yeah, but he still gets beat up anyways because he just can't get anything started. Uh, really great pressure from Ice. Not giving him a chance to breathe. It's kind of hard to do against like this. Okay. All right. He gets in with a Ooh, uh, fire. Yeah, he gets a PK freeze into a combo. Very good way of getting an opening with Lucas. Double jump cancels that PK freeze super low and then goes in. All right. Ooh, that up was up air into back air combo. That's a bread and butter. That's bread and butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. But uh, it's a bread and butter. But it's a, it's not an easy link to make. Yeah, you, like you have to do the rising up air and like start the up air right when you jump, and then uh, pop out the back air with good timing. A lot of Lucas's bread and butters involve some pretty tight timings, which is why people say he's such a hard character to play. I think it has more to do with just the way he moves, and his grab is really bad, and you can't like running up smash or dash attack. His grab is actually, I mean, it's amazing, well, you, but you I know, know what, what you I mean. mean. Yeah, yeah, as an approaching grab. Yeah, as sure. an approaching grab. Yeah. Alright, finally takes his stock. Uh, gets a lot, of, a lot of percent on him, and oh, getting ready for that up smash kill, but gets out away from it with the tech that's so big. And I, I don't Ooh. think he's going to kill with this. Oh, he no. didn't DI. I think all those... There was no DI. He didn't DI. He didn't mash out a grab. I, he had he, given, he up. He yeah, given up. He shouldn't have given up. He shouldn't have given up. He could have lived from that yeah, with DI. Lucas is up throw. Very strong, but not quite that strong. Right. Especially on a big character like Link. Heavy character. Alright. Gets him back into the down air, down air trap. Gets an air after it. And now, okay. Link's turn to combo. Uh, oh! Gets a hit in in between and avoids the boomerang. Ooh, gets lands on stage with the uppie, but hits him. It's good. <clears throat> Ooh, all right, going for the snipe. Doesn't get him, and Neon gets back on stage. Ooh, 
Ooh, and that smash the eye at the end, but it doesn't do absolutely anything. Absolutely filthy. Yeah. All right, so uh, Neon with a really, really solid lead. Ice has a lot of work to do, especially with, against a character like Lucas. He just gets so many opportunities. Good. Calls a roll. Very great way to start it out. Uh, eliminates the stocks, starting fresh. Now he's got two stocks uh, to make up. Oh, no. Oh, good edge guards from Neon. Is this going to be... Oh, that, oh, what does he... He has to smash the eye. You have to, yeah, that's it? Yeah, you have to smash the eye because you, your grounded hit stun, so you can't crouch cancel that uh, is because you, you're not in here. That is kind of silly. I mean, if you smash the eye, you can get...